Hello. This is something different I'm doing for my live this morning because I wanted to show you my PowerPoint. So bear with me while I try to figure this out. <laughs> this is really crazy. So I'm going to hopefully stay live and work off of my Zoom, but then that means I need to look at my phone for the chat box. Okay, so hello, my name is Cindy and thank you for coming to my channel. And I am working off of Zoom so that I can show my PowerPoint today. So hello, Casey. And yeah, because I we have some news today, right? We have been given some awesome news. Well, not really awesome. How are your steps going? Well, yesterday I did a day off. So actually I am charging my watch right now. So, so far so good. I got, I am on track. I haven't lost a day. This is our last week. So this scene in this video, this photo right here, this is why I wanted to um, go off of Zoom so I can show you my pictures from my iPad. I have my iPad hardwired to my computer and I can show you different things off of my iPad. So isn't this beautiful? This is down the street from my house. And um, this is a house, it, this is probably about a mile from my house. We walk down this area and we just happen to catch the sunset. Uh, I just finished two power days and one active. Awesome. I'm not exactly sure what I have, but I know I haven't <laughs> lost a day yet. I think I've done two power days this week so far. I'm not sure. But um, I know the day that I, whenever I walk down this way, this is where my husband um, takes me and it's beautiful. And whenever I walk down this way, I always, <laughs> I always get a power day. <laughs> I don't always go with him because he walks really fast and sometimes I'm just like I'm not up to walking that fast um, and there's some hills and things like that but this was a beautiful day so yeah, yeah. so there are some, some good days in New Hampshire even though we are very cold a lot of the time <laughs> So, oh yeah, and I wanted to show you my big eggs. So I'm going to click off of this beautiful photo for a minute and I'm going to show, oh, that's so funny. That's right. I forgot Zoom. I can also do the um, the green screen, but I'm, I'm on Cam Twist with my iPad, so I can't really do that right now. Yeah, so there's there's some different things about, oh, I see I have my green screen behind me. Oh, that is so funny. Okay, let me try this while I'm live. This is crazy. I have my green screen and I've been working on it. And if you saw my video for out school, you saw that I did use my green screen. So I'm gonna pull this fabric back. I was thinking I couldn't do my green screen plus, yeah, that is weird. That is really weird because I see the picture behind me of my green screen. I don't know how to, I'm going to click that off, I think. So, um, no, choose virtual background. I don't want a virtual background. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, I'm learning every day, I'm learning something new about computers. So I'm gonna click off of this. Okay, so I just wanted to have the PowerPoint next to me so that I can do some things and show you some cool things about um, how to hook up your iPad. I have my iPad hardwired to my computer and I'm working through Cam Twist. So if you have a Mac computer, you can also do that. So now since I'm doing that, I can't look at my iPad for the chat box. So I am using my phone. So I have two in the chat. Yeah, I, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was kind of like half and half. So um, I just see your background. Okay. Yeah. So when I do, like when I did my video for um, out school, I did the green screen. So that was kind of fun. So I'm working on the green screen. I also am working on upgrading my computer. So I'm learning some new things. So today, um, 
we had happy children's day so i used my big egg and if you saw my video <laughs> i showed you actual footage of me using this egg in class and it was really funny so i would just be like it's 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 opening it's opening <gasps> what is it and then i would pull out dino and i would say happy children's day and the kids got a kick out of it i had a big a big kid um last night and he he says he's too big for children's day i don't know there's a certain age that they stop calling you know they grow up so fast over there really so hello gwen hello kelly hello casey and so um yeah this picture for those of you just coming in this is a picture on my walk a couple of days ago and we just happened to hit it at the right time and it was such a beautiful scene there's a house and this man has like dug his own little pond and he's he has enough property that he made his own pond and he has like a walk around it kids can swim in it it's all private but he lets everybody walk by and enjoy it and um yeah so it's pretty amazing and it's for me i go down the street and walk through the woods and it's there and this is from the other side of the property um when we're walking on the road so it's pretty amazing it's a very beautiful scene in new hampshire i just want to show you guys that new hampshire does have some beautiful scenery <laughs> even though sometimes it is very cold so um yeah so i actually i have a couple more pictures i can show you so here's this one was really pretty these i took just with my phone and the dandelions were just so pretty and this was the sunset i had my phone would like turn the um color off so i had to kind of hurry up and take the picture before the um before the it before it darkened like that so it was kind of interesting but this is just with my regular phone this isn't a fancy these are my recipes this is me with the uh the egg <laughs> so um yeah so this is new hampshire these are my walk okay so how were your classes how were your classes today thank you kelly VIP kid teachers are planning to boycott teaching on June 20th. I'm going on vacation anyway that day, so it works out. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, okay, so how I'm going to talk about classes because I will talk about the pay structure at this point. Um, so my classes have like last night i only had two classes but that was by choice i did have one girl that she will book me every friday and about half the time she cancels um she's really cute though um yeah so she canceled and i did not get it rebooked um sometimes when she cancels i just close it out and just do two on a friday night um usually saturdays i'll do six in a row um i had four scheduled i did two and i had two no shows today one was a regular um who was good he's a regular he's kind of young he's been kind of antsy um maybe because of children's day i'm thinking that he did not show up and then my second one was a short notice trial and um a short notice trial and this trial was a new trial i've never done this trial it was with pets um it was like level two of the interactive um, trial classes so it was i went through the slides a few different times i had some pet things i had some rewards on my ipad to show um but he didn't show up so that was kind of a bummer but you know it was short notice so i got paid for the short notice half pay right short notice half pay um so kelly says there's power in numbers for the boycott i'm already booked on the 20th i had seven they went great oh good kelly had one subclass oh cool okay i've never done a subclass i probably wouldn't have closed anyway yeah so okay what's the next thing um 
Yeah, I had a level seven this past week that was like 20 minutes late. Then we did the five minutes and I'm thinking, should I do the 10 minute break? Maybe I should do the 10 minute break in, you know, in between whatever, but they schedule the 10 minute break. So I taught her for five minutes. We had the 10 minute break and then I taught her for the next, what, 23 minutes. So it was a little strange, but she didn't seem that excited about class. And so it was kind of a bummer. I would have liked to have talked more. I kind of went through the slides really quick and I told her, I don't normally go through things this quickly, but it actually was an assessment as well. So it was kind of a bummer to have a level seven come in that late and try to get things done. It's hard to decide how you're gonna do it. Um, but I just wrote it in the feedback that she was late and we kind of got through the slides as quickly as we could. Um, good morning, Mary Ann, and good morning, um, everyone. So at this time, I wanted to show you my, I have a couple videos about the Stars to Apple app. So the Stars to Apple app is on my, this is my um, iPad screen, and Stars to Apple has an Apple. It, it, you can get it in the um, App Store. Uh, Apple App Store and it does cost $9.99. I use it through Cam Twist. So right now I am I am streaming through Zoom through uh, Cam Twist. I, you have to sign up with Cam Twist first, then Zoom, then you press live on YouTube and all of that to show you my stars to Apple. And this was the one I used for one of my students. I was going to use this for the trial too, because it's all about pets. So you can make it bigger like this and you can put it in the cage if you want. You can bring over the dog. You can do like this, make it bigger, smaller. You can say, do you want a big dog or a small dog? Do you want the dog on the sofa? Do you want a fish? Do you want a big fish or a small fish? And so that's really fun. So you can talk about things and you can show them different rewards. I have lots of different rewards um, and you can also make a schedule for your rewards. So this right here is my schedule for the day for rewards. And then you can plug this in and then in between classes, you can just press on it and you're ready for that class, press done, you're ready for the next class, press done. And then this is a fun one. This is build a monster. And there are numbers on the side and you can build a monster. So you could like roll the dice and yes, thank you, thumbs up. And you can like roll the dice and then you can pick or you can ask them to pick a number and you can make a funny monster with faces and like you can switch video source so that you can put this on the side and then you can make it big like this. And I've seen people do this with Google Slides and with, um, you know, Google Slides and whatever they do. But I, when I learned how to hook up my iPad to my computer, this opened up this whole ability for me to do it. So it's really fun. And so, so this is the monster reward. So also with this feature for stars to Apple, you also have a whiteboard that you can access really quickly. So on the whiteboard, you can draw pictures and do this and stuff like that. So whatever you want to do, or you can spell words, there's a clear button, you can spell words right on the thing and then you can like switch it like this and spell words that way. So it's really fun. So if that's something you might be interested in, you can try that. You can also with Cam Twist, you can just touch, click it off and then it's not there anymore and you can click it back on when you're ready. So at this time, I know that everyone is ready to talk about the um, new pay structure. 
So teacher Tim, I saw that he posted something that he he made a video all about the new pay structure and I know that he refers a lot of people so it was important for him to know how to tell people how they're going to get paid right because it was easy you get a pace base pay you get one dollar for being on time one dollar after 45 classes so it's easy to figure out your pay um, but now we have like a little formula we have to follow and actually it's going to start August 1st for veteran teachers, but new teachers are coming in with the new pay structure. I had a regular level six today show me his phone about the police not situate riot situation. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, he made that a long time ago, but he said last night he got like thousands of views in one night. <laughs> so I think he said like, three thousand or six thousand like in one night so he's like everybody's and it was a really good video like I watched it but I wasn't I wasn't ready to really figure it all out I'm like why are they doing this really difficult math situation but I love this chart that he had on his website in his video and this chart will tell you how many classes you need to do with each tier in order to break even with the um, with the two dollars per class extra bonus that we get, so keep in mind that the formula is for the extra bonus. Like you're going to get your base pay for every class, but the bonus is going to now be variable depending on how many classes you teach. Okay, so this is the I'm in tier seven. Now, what are the tiers? Okay, this is the chart here and the tiers are on the side. So it, you're in tier one if you have zero to 79 classes. So within, you know, if you get some decent bookings within maybe a month or two, you could get up to 80 and you'll be in tier two. And then these, I'm in tier seven. So I have, I have about 3000 classes uh, so I'm figuring I need about 1300 or 1400 to get up to tier eight. And if you'll notice on this chart, um, everybody gets paid the same amount for the first 20 classes. So you figure out your tier and then you go across for the first 20 classes. Everybody gets 80 cents for the next 20 classes. Everybody gets a dollar 20 cents for the next 20 classes from 41 to 60, if you can see that at the top there, 41 to 60, the first few tiers get $1.60, but then it goes up to $1.70. So I was just kind of analyzing the chart to see, you know, when it changes. So for tier, um, let's see, tier six, you're going to start getting 10 cents more after the 41st class. <laughs> per class. So then as you go along, you see that it goes up to $1.80, $2.30, $2.50, $2.80. So what you have to do, oh, Angela Silva made a really good video as well, just kind of um, working the numbers, but you don't really have to add up your base pay necessarily, because your base pay is going to be the same but the thing that is going to change is your incentive pay. So what we normally would get $2 for every class after 45 classes. Now that incentive pay is going to be different. So what I did was I figured out how many, how much money I made last month. I had 198 classes, which that was a lot for me because normally I'm a part timer. Um, normally I go to school and I would teach between 30 to 40 classes per week. So that would be um, 120 maybe per month. But last month I did 198, which is a lot for me. Um, <laughs> thank you, Luann. <laughs> I'm working on, well, I'm working on hooking up the iPad to my computer and that really helps to, with the visuals and the kids seem to like it as well. Now, if you have an iPad, 
I would suggest you get this little thing right here. If you go to the iPad group, you will go to the tab that shows you um, how to get the screenshot button. And one of the people on our group has put the steps in, which is kind of complicated, but once you do it one time, it's done. And so all I have to do if I'm on my iPad and I want a screenshot is touch this button. And it is awesome. And you can move it anywhere you want to move it. So I would recommend that totally. If you're going to use your iPad for any reason, get that screenshot button. And it makes screenshots so much easier. I mean, I used my, my, I usually would use my phone with my iPad because I don't want to take the chance of accidentally turning my iPad off. So, um, yeah. So I figured out in tier seven with 198 classes that I would actually be making more money um, per month. So the hard thing is for the people that are, that aren't doing, you know, as many classes. So that's why I like the chart right here. You know what tier you need to be in to make the $2. So if you're in two, tier three and you do not teach 274 classes for the month, you will not break even. You will definitely get a pay cut. So the goal it should be that you could, you know, keep teaching enough classes that you can get up in tiers. Like for me in tier seven, I have to teach 183. So if I'm over 183, I know I get $2 or more per class. Uh, well, it's not cumulative either. It's like just for the classes over 183, I get a few cents more. So I get a little bit more pay. So hi, online teacher dude, thank you for coming. Just joining. Yeah, that's your shoulder. <laughs> I, I took that from actually someone on Facebook had posted this and I'm like, that's what I wanna know. How do we know where we're breaking even? So if you see, if you're in tier one, obviously you wanna move up in tiers, but if you're working part-time and you only do a hundred classes pay, say per month, then um, it's gonna take you a while and you may not ever make it. <laughs> so for me, because I'm home now, I'm actually doing more. So like um, last month I did 198 classes. So if I were doing this system, I would definitely be making more money. Um, so with this tier system, you do want to keep in mind that I'm going to switch it again. Everybody gets paid the same amount for those beginning classes. Oh, this was one. I did not understand that one at all. Okay. So what I'm going to do is do this and I'm going to click this off <laughs> and I'm going to find the chart I want. Uh, okay. This is the chart I want. So here we go. So this is what's cool about this program. I do not know how to do Manicam. Um, I am using a MacBook computer with my iPad attached and I really love it. <laughs> I am using Cam Twist, which is free and I am working through Zoom and I'm going from Zoom live on YouTube. I did not see, I don't know if I can do live on YouTube with Cam Twist. I haven't tried that. <laughs> but live on YouTube has gotten kind of complicated to me. So um, I had noticed that Christy Carter was doing her single lives on Zoom and I asked her why and she said it was because YouTube was kind of complicated. So I said, great idea. I'll go through Zoom and even though I'm by myself. I've done this with interviews before, but I've never done it by myself. Okay, so Kelly's tier seven. Marianne, I figured you're tier eight because you're 5,000, almost tier nine. Awesome. So, you know, it has to be the people that are powering through that are getting a lot of classes. Personally, I really like, um, 
you know, I paced myself. I didn't want to push to do too many because I didn't want to, you know, get in trouble for being too tired or not having enough energy for class or whatever. So I tried to, you know, not push too much. This type of an incentive will make it so that people want to push so that they can at least break even for their classes. So that's the thing. I don't, I guess it is what it is, right? So um, Gwen is tier four, Jason is tier five, close to tier six. Yeah, so I figured out it's like 1300 classes and I'll make it to tier eight, which only means that I'll make a few cents after 181 classes. <laughs> So it's interesting. It's interesting. I know a lot of people aren't really that great with math, but like yesterday I sat down and I saw somebody, I was just, I was at a friend's house. We actually went um, to my friend's pool outside and, you know, it was safe situation. And we were in the sun getting some vitamin D and I checked my Facebook and I saw, oh, it's rolling out. So for me, I just signed my contract. I will be starting June 1st, the new contract. And I did get the raise. So my base pay will be a little bit more. So that's good. And then um, I will have to teach over 181 classes to well what was it tim what did you say it was um for tier seven 183 classes to break even um and then i want to make it up to 1300 classes to make it to tier eight <laughs> so i only have to do 177 i don't see myself doing um you know 400 classes a month or anything like that um, can you put up the chart with how many classes we have to teach again? Okay, this is it right here. Um, oh, Kelly, I missed the raise by a month. I'll send it to you. Okay, so this is it. I put it, I also put it on the iPad group, Kelly. And I'm just, you know, trying to get people to, so you don't have to figure it all out. That would be something I was kind of interested. How do I know at what point? And there's probably a algebraic formula for this. <laughs> Actually, way back, I saw someone that had like a spreadsheet, like an Excel, you can put in formulas and that's probably how they figure this out. You know, I'm sure they don't do it longhand. So um, yeah, so I'm not sure how the, how it goes though are they gonna hire everybody at seven dollars and fifty cents per month now i mean per class now and you can't get more than seven dollars and fifty cents per class that's what i was wondering my big worry is that if we take away short notice i will lose a lot of money oh yeah well i don't know what the i don't with this system i can't imagine them taking away short notice too that would be a big hit because I honestly don't get short notices all the time. You know, short notice is really great for teachers like you, Tim, who have a lot of followers and it is an advantage for you. And I think you should be able to keep it um, for somebody like me where I don't always get book short notice. It's not really to my advantage to only teach short notice. Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking that, you know, parents are still going to want to book short notice classes. So I think that they need to make it so that they can kind of thing. Um, my other thought was, yeah, Tim, what do you think? Do you think they're only going to hire people for $7 and 50 cents flat rate and never go up on that? Because getting that raise is really something like when I first signed on the first year I was it yeah the first year you want to make sure that I'm going to get the raise so you you know keep checking your numbers and making sure because for me it was my part-time job so I had to kind of push myself because it was my second job and I wanted to make sure that I got enough to get the raise 
And with the way this is, you're basically getting enough to, I don't know, you're not really, you are pushing to each tier to sort of do better, but it's not as much of an incentive as getting 50 cents extra per class. So I don't know, is that going away too? So are they going to be eligible for a 50 cent raise after a year? Ugh. Because I'm, I actually just got the raise, so that means I'm making more than seven fifty. I'm actually up to nine dollars, and I don't want to like stop getting booked because I make more money, so they'll have to pay me more money. That's my only thing. Is like I don't want them to get in there and say, "Well, she makes more money, so don't give her as many bookings." <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And, you know, it is an incentive to keep going to get that extra 50 cents per class. Hi, Laura. So that's my thing. And what do I think about it? Um, I made a comment on one of the groups and I thought, you know, first of all, you know, when we first started this company, we thought, wow, this is amazing. I can talk to China, you know, go back to your original thoughts about teaching for VIP kid. And it was pretty good money to, for me to, as a second job to get up early, teach a couple classes. Um, and then during the month I would get an extra like $500. That was like amazing. I couldn't get a second job for doing that anywhere. So that number one is still amazing even if the pay goes down um second of all you know why is the pay going down my you know i'm disappointed because i referred one of the quarters i referred four people and i actually got an extra 100 dollars bonus that was really awesome and i was i was really sad when they took away those incentives for hiring teachers um, completely. Like I was thinking, you know, they should at least keep some, like, don't just take the whole thing out. And then they made it so you have to be an affiliate and everything. Um, Laura, I think it rewards loyalty and pushes us to teach more full time. That's true. I think the hard part is that it was great pay. Now it's just good pay. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Um, so, what was I saying? So my question is, um, so first of all, you know, it, for me to do it, thinking back to my original thoughts when I first got this job, I was amazed I got to speak to China. I was amazed I got to meet kids in China. I was amazed that I learned all this technology. I was just like so floored and I thought I would do this for free if I had to, you know, and then you get to like the money and you it becomes a part of your life I need this money to live I need this money for this that and the other thing for me I worked at a small Christian school where this job helped me do my other job like uh, it covered a lot of my extras for my kids and things like that now we're quarantined so I'm actually doing this job full time but um, it's been a real blessing and so I don't know, like, I don't want to assume that VIP kid is trying to hurt us as teachers. I want to uh, assume that they're trying to restructure it so that they can survive as a company, so that they can make the numbers work for them. Uh, maybe they were offering too much and maybe it was okay at the beginning, um, but now they have to level out and be more reasonable. I don't know. Um, so I just feel like someone posted on Instagram earlier, this is a business, not a job. Yeah. So I just feel like, um, it would be nice if VIP kid reached out to us and, and said, you know, we understand that this is going to be a big change and we understand that this may you know, affect a lot of people, but we've made this decision as a, as a company in order to continue as a company, we need to trim the edges a little bit and, you know, kind of give us a little respect instead of just, you know, 
throwing it on us and like making us figure it out. So that's my opinion on it. Um, I think they would prefer to have more full-time teachers rather than so many part-time teachers. It's probably more efficient. Hmm. Um, there are thousands knocking on the door willing to work for way less. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of what I, you know, thought of at the beginning was that, you know, in China, they're used to people coming and going and a person is just someone to get the job done kind of thing. Um, it's not an American company. American companies even now are changing to where not companies aren't loyal to people as much as they have been in the past. Uh, my father worked for a company all of my childhood and they blessed him with bonuses. He had a pension. He had health insurance. They were always like, are you okay? Can we help you with anything? And they treated him like he was you know, a blessing to the company, but companies don't do that anymore. You're just a person that is helping them get their job done. And I don't want to say that about our company, but obviously they're work reworking things. Now we are still have a job, you know, that's the other thing is we know that even the way things are with foreign relations and everything, we could wake up one day and this job is no longer. Like there could be a new decision in China that we can't even do this job. So I guess we should be thankful that <laughs> we should be thankful that we have a company to work for and they're not like completely writing us off. Like they're not just putting us all down to 750 and leaving it flat rate. They are giving us a chance to, um, make break even with what we were getting and yeah <laughs> so um you know it is what it is so i think the best thing we can do is just accept it and we have other options and i think it's really great that a lot of people have already been um exploring other options and I have been saying from the beginning of time I I'm thankful for all you guys that are here I have 11 watchers right now thank you for the thumbs up and I want to tell you personally and anyone who watches this video later that one of the things that I have been truly blessed by is the teacher community I know that I would have never met <laughs> all of you if it hadn't been for VIP kid and I have been blessed by your expertise and um, friendship and encouragement, support to myself for even watching this YouTube video. Um, and so I don't, that's the thing I don't want to lose. Like, I don't want to lose the, the teacher community. And I know that if I just signed off a VIP kid, I wouldn't just miss my job, I would be missing all of my friends, all of you guys. So I hope that whenever we do diversify a little bit, that we continue our friendships and we continue with these videos and we continue with support somehow, that we don't lose touch with each other. And um, yeah, now I'm going to cry, right? But you know, I was going to go to journey. And I still want the journey to come, you know? And I still want to meet you guys. So I think that, you know, we have to band together and we have to, you know, look at what we have and make it the best we can. And then we have to work with it. And we, one other thing I want to say is the teacher community and the great training that I've gotten through VIP Kid has been awesome also. Um, we, when I first started, I watched all the workshops and learned from many teachers and um, VIP Kid provided all of that on the workshop thing. You know, a lot of people are like, I don't want, I don't have time to walk the, watch the workshops. I don't get paid for this, you know, but we might not have gotten paid for that, but we didn't pay for it either. Like it was 
our free time and it was free education. So I am thankful for that. And I know that that has given me an extra level of knowledge and um, credentials to myself. <laughs> so I believe that VIP Kid has helped me and given me just so much more, has given me a, a, a bigger life and more things to know, more things to explore. And because of VIP Kid, I'm telling you guys, when the quarantine happened, um, we, we, I had already been doing Facebook Live with our church and it was just like a natural progression. Like we just went right into it and um, we're able to use these skills in other ways. And we're also able to funnel these skills into our own country. Thank you guys for the hugs. Thank you, teacher dude, for <laughs> you're such a bright light, bright light. And I appreciate your videos as well. And I watch them all. And Laura J, I will stay on. I will just be investing unpaid time anymore. I will show up and teach well. But as far as people workshops, I am out. I will invest my resources. And that's fine, you know. And we do have to trim down our time that we spend in other things. Um, thank you, Laura. The teacher community is so strong. And Danny, I've been listening. I just pulled into the parking lot at the grocery store. I was actually almost crying before you started crying. I will always... And Danny, you're always going to be there with those plants, right? Um, and Cindy, I agree. Laura J, blessed life with Candy and George. Hi, Candy. Thank you for coming. And so, you know, we have to remember what we have gained. And I have always looked at this job as, um, you know, not something I can count on. You know, I do get paid a certain amount per month and I love it and I'm really thankful for it, but I can't like assume that it's always going to be there. I have to be ready to move on to something else. Um, and also, with that said, a lot of people are moving to out school. And I have said from the beginning that it is, it is really, I love the teacher community and I believe that our public school system has abused our teachers and we need to funnel the good quality teacher force funnel it into America in a positive way. And I'm not sure out school is looking like that is going to do that and help us with that. Maybe some other companies are going to come out. Maybe we're going to have some more competition between American companies. And through this difficult time, I think a lot of seeds are being planted and things are going to grow and things are going to happen. And we need to keep in mind that all of this affects our children like we are teachers we want to be paid we want to make use of our time but i don't believe that <laughs> okay i'm gonna make a big assumption here but i don't believe we all got into teaching for the money right <laughs> because we all knew at the beginning that teaching is not the highest paying job in our country and it is not even the highest regarded job in our country, unfortunately, but it, we have a heart for our students. We have a heart for our kids and that's why we became teachers. And so we need to remember that and we have learned, we have grown and it is time that we funnel those lessons into our own country and start working on our own kids, America needs kids to love learning we you know we need our kids to love learning my three younger kids um, have been in school longer than my other kids my older kids did a lot of homeschooling and they don't love learning as much and so i'm going to be working on that with my own kids still at home is that they need to have a love for learning and and we need to try and cultivate that and use our talents that we have gained and work into using it for our own kids and our own families. So Kelly says, I got into VIP Kid because I needed an at-home job. I fell in love with teaching. Yes. And, you know, that's what I felt, too, with VIP Kid is I could actually teach. Then kids actually wanted to learn. And that's cool. 
The teachers in Louisiana need an overhaul. No breaks, low pay, large classes. So hard to be the best teacher when you're struggling in those ways. It's true. And um, as we have seen in our country during quarantine, money is abundant. <laughs> all of a sudden, we have all this money to give to people and we're not paying our teachers. So um, yeah, we need to, but you know, in all fairness, I did my student teaching. I went to a Christian college and this is many years ago. So you don't know any of these people, but I went to a Christian college and I did my student teaching in a public school. And I, I had a terrible teacher that trained me and I couldn't tell her, I couldn't do anything about it because um, I, I don't know what would have happened. I just had to kind of take it at this teacher did nothing. I got in there. She, I did all the bulletin boards. She had stacks and stacks of paper. I stacked, I did all of the grading papers. I went in, I did all the teaching. Like she didn't train me. She just sat back and watched me do everything. And um, it was terrible. And there are a lot of teachers in our schools that aren't doing a very good job, honestly. <laughs> So I think that it's time for parents to take control of their families and their kids and, and don't put up with it anymore. You know, don't put up with um, the status quo and avail ourselves of these new innovative ways of learning and teach our kids how to learn, teach them the love of learning and make them want to learn and hopefully that will be like infectious to other kids because America students, kids are not wanting to learn. They're okay with not learning much. And we're just in a really bad spot. I see no mass and people in the parking lot. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mindy, where are in Illinois? I live in Missouri. Awesome. Okay. So, um, yeah, so where I live, people, as far as masks go, um, it's half and half. Like, the there's one city in New Hampshire that has, like, said, if you go out without a mask, you have to pay $1,000 uh, fine. <laughs> where I live, I'm in the country, so I can walk around without a mask. If I go to the store, I might do something like this. I'll wear something around my neck and then just put it up because nobody really cares if it actually works. They just want to see that you're wearing it. Um, but I've done a lot of reading about the masks and I'm not convinced that it's really what is necessary if you are, you know, unless you're in a huge crowd and you know that people are coughing and stuff like that. <laughs> But I don't want to be controversial about the mask, but I have made many masks and I'm just not on board with the necessity of it. Um, I know a lot of people are having a hard time breathing. And then if you use something like this and you go like this, people will say I'm wearing a mask, but it's going to do nothing really. It's just showing people that you are willing to comply. So that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, well, it is getting late, right? Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> so have fun shopping, Danny. It's a beautiful day here. Yesterday it was kind of hot and I went to a friend, she has a pool and she basically stays home. It's just her and her husband. And we stayed outside the whole time and just talked. So it was really nice. Um, but the next two weeks is supposed to be kind of cool, like cloudy and cool and maybe even cold for like two weeks. So I'm glad we had a fun, warm vitamin D day. And we did have... We had a really nice rain during the night. So my garden got some water and I am growing lots of really nice weeds. <laughs> I'm growing a few things in the garden. My sunflowers are coming up really nice. Um, when we lived in Illinois, we lived in the far west su suburbs. I taught in Wheaton. Oh, wow. When I left to leave, move to Texas, I was making almost 100,000. Wow. 
I have 60 graduate hours above my master's degree. Wow, Mindy. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. I've been a stay at home mom for over 20 years. Or let's see. Well, my oldest daughter is 30. So I've been a stay at home mom, but the last seven years I taught at a Christian school, which is kind of the same thing because I didn't really get paid anything. I just kind of went so my kids could go to school. So I haven't gotten any cash. So cash through VIP Kid has been a huge blessing for me. Um, so Mindy, I have 19 above my, wow. Wow, Marianne. Yeah. Well, you guys are going to do great with um, out school. You have a lot to offer there. I hope that goes well for you guys. I'm feeling a little intimidated for out school because there's so many talented teachers. <laughs> Nobody's going to want to pick me. Uh, let's see, Cindy, I need to get breakfast going. Okay. I think Serena is live next. I'm headed out to run errands. Cool. Yes, we have strong teachers unions in Illinois and they would fight to keep our salaries high. Wow. Cool. I hope the kids are learning too. That's awesome. I would have loved, I didn't, when I first got out of college, I didn't want my master's degree. I majored in math ed and I was done. Like I was like, I'm done with school. I want a break. But I think I like learning more now than I used to. I mean, I loved learning back then, but um, <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> hello, Laura H. Kelly's nervous too. I'm, I'm hoping to do a knitting class um, and then I'm trying to, think of whatever, what other type of class I might want to teach. Um, I was thinking about chickens, like the life cycle of chickens. And I've taught that before, like how long does it take to incubate an egg and what it looks like in the different stages. Um, that was really fun. I taught that with my students um, at school. I was also thinking of doing cooking, like Mindy had said, baking bread. And I was thinking of maybe going to my mom's house because she she has like a center island and it might be easier to do at her house. And I thought if I did like three classes in a row at her house, that would be all, like all in one day. And that might be something I could do. So Mindy says, not true. You have so much to offer. You know how to make great bread and cooking yummy meals they need more cooking classes and knitting and chickens would be great that is true cooking classes i was talking to my friend at the pool she's an amazing cook she has actually taken classes from some of the tv i can't remember i think she said she met bobby flay but she's an amazing cook and she taught cooking at her school too but she's not majorly into computers so i don't know if she would want to do out school but she gave me some really good ideas about just the simple things because kids don't people today aren't cooking and she said you know oh she had an idea of microwave cooking because she said even kids that go off to college they think they just get a can of soup or something really um you know fast food type stuff where you can actually do a lot with just your microwave and eat healthy food. So that was a really good idea that she had is microwave cooking and simple cooking with real ingredients because that can save money and it's also better for you. So yeah, Mindy, I was so nervous for my first class. Just make sure you get some friends in your first, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was also thinking of maybe doing a Zoom knitting class for some of you guys that want to learn. If you want to learn how to make the dishcloth, Mindy, um, I was thinking of just making a Zoom class, obviously not charging anything, but any of my VIP kid teachers that want to join it, that you could um, get some yarn. This is the kind of yarn that you need to get. It's um, cotton and it's this one is sugar and cream. There are some other brands. This is from Walmart, but you need a cotton and then size five knitting needles. You can get circular needles, which is like all connected, or you can get um, straight needles if you want, but the circular needles are really the best. So if you guys want to get some of those and be ready for me to put out a Zoom lesson on um, knitting, 
that maybe we could, a few of us could join in together and maybe even maybe even go live right we'll see maybe we could talk about it and see how that goes and so that would be fun too the out school trainer that taught us how to do out school on a live zoom said her cooking classes are the most oh really awesome that's good to know all right and i plan to do a baking series on os using the flex schedule i have to teach my one and done class first awesome marianne okay and hopefully there's enough you know that's what i'm anxious to find out like how many teachers and if all these teachers sign up are they getting bookings and that kind of thing well i see other people are going live so i'm going to give them a chance to take over the uh waves and i will put in my earbuds and do some cleaning and thank you guys so much for coming and I will say goodbye with some awesome pictures of New Hampshire. I showed these at the beginning of my class. These I saw on my walk today and I just wanted to share them with you. And so thank you guys for coming. You should charge us like $10 for knitting class. <laughs> well, not everybody makes a hundred thousand. No, I'm just kidding. But I could, I could tell you my PayPal account and you can, you know, give a donation if you want. But I really appreciate you guys for coming. Hello, Meredith. Do you like my picture of New Hampshire? Bye. Have a great day. I think um, Evelyn is live and maybe um, Serena. I don't know. So if you want to keep the live going, have at it. And I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye, Luann. Goodbye, Mindy. Goodbye, Marianne. And thank you for watching, Meredith. I'll see you around. Bye.